evil came upon a particular people, not everybody. And God goes specify who those, who those people are. Hosea 4 and 6 said, my people perish for a lack of knowledge. Amen. Because thou reject knowledge, he's going to reject thee. That we shall be no priest to him. Meaning, we wasn't going to be the ones that were going to teach the others. The, uh, the priests were like the Levitical priests. They were the lawyers of the tribes. And they were the ones that did the, large sac the blood sacrifices for, for sins. God said that we were going to be no priests to him. He was going to forget our children. And he did. You know, I give an example like Snoop Dogg. <laughs> How he going to be a priest? Like he was talking about. Yeah, right, yeah. And, yeah, yeah. Me and the brother were speaking earlier. And we was talking about how it took a, a well known rapper, Easy E, of NWA to die of AIDS before it made you think about all this whoremonging and having sex unprotectedly and all this stuff. And just having sex, period, just wildly. Right. It took Easy E to die for our generation to, like, for our eyes to open a little bit. So I, was bring, I brought to the brother's attention that with all this. Legalization of smoking marijuana and all this uh, commercialization of smoking weed and how cool it is and the public medical pot and all that. I told him, it's gonna take somebody that we look up to in this rap world, especially somebody like Snoop Dogg. Every time you see this brother, he's smoking weed, he glamorizing it, and got the brother on his album covers with smoke out of his mouth. Right. It's gonna take somebody like Snoop Dogg to be around here with chronic emphysema. Right with that voice box. And they gonna get him on a commercial, he gonna come on there. Hi, my name is Snoop Dogg. Right, right. <laughs> Smoking marijuana is not good, don't smoke. That's what you gonna have to see. Before, before some of y'all see that smoking is not good for you. Right, right. And it's, and it's, and it's, and it's, and it's totally against God. God is not with that. Miracle, medical marijuana comes in the form of eating, chewing. Not smoking, you're not supposed to roll up and put it. And when your body cough, that's your body trying to tell you that something ain't right. It's rejected whatever the hell you're doing to it. Right, right. Hey, hey I, when I, see, I seen him about a year ago, he was like a pole, man. Yeah, He's so skinny, he didn't even look, he didn't even look healthy. That's, that's another thing, too. Smoking weed, from what I knew when I was younger, when I tried it, it made me, it gave me the munchies. It made me want to eat. Snoop Dogg is, ain't no bigger than one of these light poles, man. So I don't know what the hell the weed doing for him. Because the damn sure ain't giving him the munchies. But, but what they're doing with that is keeping our people on the comatose, like we spoke about earlier. A lot of our people who are using that, they, they um, like property owners, for example, some of our people who have property, right? they slip around and start smoking that when they get addicted to it. Before you know it, they be forgetting to pay their rent, right. you forgetting to pay their mortgage. Right, right. 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 They ain't got to drive to get to up work. and go to work. Right. You know what I mean? Lose your job. It's like a domino effect. Right, and, and that's what Esau wants. He wants the people to lose all their property so we have no economic power, period. You got to understand something. How did you go from being the greatest people on earth to the very bottom, man? That's in the scripture. Matter of fact, I'm sorry, what you, what you got out there? You know, it's funny, though. Even behind you, you got graffiti, right? Right. When you look at our people, we're the ones that do, started the graffiti. You know what I mean? All right. We're the ones that started the graffiti. When you look at... Uh, when you go into Europe and you go over to uh, Poland and all those places, we got we got our forefathers painted on those buildings. You, 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 know, you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I saw that. Yeah, I got in that I, book. Um, right. That book called. I forget the name. Now. Yeah, yeah. I, I got um, it at the house. But we was painting images. Even when you go into uh, the catacombs, you see all the images on the wall. That's right, that's, that's basically yeah, it's that's a form graffiti. of. Graffiti. I wonder what's a graffiti mean. I wonder what's the root word of graffiti. I don't know, but it's probably a Greek word or something. Probably. But that's all you see. You go from so, every city, you see graffiti. And that's coming from us. Hey, you hey, know my what brother, I mean? Let me ask you a question. Yeah. Uh, uh, according to the Bible, I'm, I'm, I'm assuming that you, you believe in the Bible. Right, according to the Bible, do you know who you are? Because all nations, okay. Which is which is true. Okay. But what nationality did he give you according to the Bible? Because yeah, he he, did, he gave a people. He gave everybody nationality. And the people that he chose to be his chosen people, they also have a, a, a nationality. Do you, do you know what that is? I didn't say I do, but okay. I'm not sure I heard it. I just think, uh, yeah. Can okay, we know. see that? Yeah, okay, right. see that sign right there? Yeah. That's Genesis 49. Right. You go to Genesis chapter 49, yeah, right. they tell you who those people are right there. Right. And where you have on that list right there? 
Here's, here's a, the Hebrew. Right here. And here's the name. Yeah, so American Negro. blacks. So, 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 so called Negro, right? So you come out of the tribe of Judah. Right. So called American blacks come out of Judah. Right. So according to the Bible, you are a Judah. You are a Jew. Right. That's what the word Jew means. Judah. The Caucasian man calls himself a Jew. is not a Jew. Right. He's an Edomite. He come out of the seed of Esau. That's your biblical evil twin brother. Esau and Jacob. You come out of Jacob, so-called Caucasian man come out of Esau. This is, this is Deuteronomy 32, verse 8. When the Most High divided the nations, their inheritance, when he separated the sons of Adam, he set the bounds of the people according to the number of the children of Israel. That's right. For the, the Lord's portion oh, I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry. is his people. I can't remember what head flies away. Jacob right. is the lot right, of his inheritance. Right. The Bible said, when the Most High divided to the nations their inheritance, he set the bounds of the people of the children of Israel, meaning everybody's boundaries was outside of ours. We had our land, which is Israel, Palestine, Jerusalem. All right, brother. All the other nations had their land outside of us. You had the Caucasians to the south. You had, you, had, you had the Edomites. They were to the east of Israel. Africans were to the south. Uh, then you had what, what you call the Japhetic nations. That, that, that would be an island today. Samoans, Targets, Samoans, Filipinos. They were to the north. Keep going, yeah. So, and this brother just brought out in the book of uh, Deuteronomy 32, in a uh, chapter, I think it's eight, that the Most High divided to the nations their inheritance. Yeah, hey, let me get, let me get the big thing about that on what Christ did. Matthew 25, 31. Okay, hold on, that's good. Oh, you guys it's all right. Oh, my bad, sorry guys. Oh, sorry, sorry. That's all right, that's all good. That's all right, good. It's all right. It's all good. That's all right. It's all right. Normal traffic, everything. Um, the, the scripture said that the both sides divided to the nations their inheritance. He gave everybody their land, and everybody knew in ancient times that they stayed in their land. They dealt with their own people. That was that. That was something that was known amongst people back then, and there was no argument with that. Now people argue with you when you say that we're not supposed to mix or, or mate. That's a that's a uh, modern day custom. That's something that America have established. That's not in the Bible. People stayed among their own people. And, the, and, and, and people understood that when they made it with their own women, that they brought forth their seed. That that's how you keep your nation strong. You weaken your nation when you, when you, when you outsource and you impregnate other women. You so-called blacks and Spanish. You're not supposed to go out and get Caucasian women pregnant, the Asian women pregnant. They're not your people. It's confusion. You ever seen a child that was that's of two different parents? They're confused, man. We not confused. We got Negro, mother and father. So we say we Negro, or we so-called Negro, it just comes out smoothly. I don't gotta say that and think twice about it. But if I had an Asian mother, I probably wouldn't want to say that. Cause I wouldn't want to offend her. And I'm just probably be confused as hell anyway. Like Tiger Woods. Cablasian. Tell us Cablasian. It's the book of Nehemiah, chapter 13, verse 23. In those days also saw I Jews that had married wives of Ashdod, of Ammon, and of Moab, and their children spake half in the speech of Ashdod, and could not speak in the in the Jews' language, but according to the language of each people. And I continued with them, and cursed them, and smote certain of them, and plucked off their hair, and made them swear by God, saying, Ye shall not give your daughters unto their sons, nor take their daughters unto your sons or for yourselves. Did not Solomon, king of Israel, sin by these things? Stop right there. Wow. I, 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 sin. Go to 1 Kings 11. 1 Kings The Bible tells you, the Bible just tells you, and this, this, this is the book, uh, it's the book of Nehemiah 13 Six. and 26. It said, did not King Solomon sin by these things? You gotta understand, sin is a transgression of the law. Right. So you gotta break it down. What that mean? Who was given the law? Everybody wasn't given the law, yeah. Let me get that. One second, man. We're gonna go back to that. Let me get let me bring this out real quick. Yeah, that's gonna piggyback off of Deuteronomy 32. 
This is uh, Matthew 25, verse 31. When the Son of Man shall come in his glory, and all the holy angels with him, with him, then shall, shall he sit upon the throne of his glory, and before him shall be gathered all nations, and he shall separate them one from another, as a shepherd divided his sheep from the goat. Now see, that's love. That's the good news of the Bible. When who you originally call Jesus Christ come back, which is Yahweh Shai, according to the Hebrew, Hamashiach Yahweh Shai. When he come back, he gonna gather all nations before him, and he gonna separate everybody. Everybody going back to their own people. You blacks ain't gonna be, you blacks ain't gonna be taking Bill Clinton daughters for your, for your wife no more. And that's not gonna happen. The one who you really call Jesus Christ is going to come back and do the will of the Father. Yeah, I think you can see it. Was first John 3 and 4? I'm going to show y'all what sin is, according to the Bible. Because we throw that word sin around the table. I like that it pertains to everybody. Now, according to the Bible, nobody does what God says to do, whether you know it or not. So yeah, you are in sin. But God held a certain people to a different plateau and punished them for breaking this law, which right. was sin. And we're gonna show you that right here. First John 3, verse 4. Whosoever committeth sin transgresseth also the law. For sin is the transgression of the law. Alright, let me get uh Psalms 147 and 19. So King Solomon and many more of our people, uh, different kings, different prophets, at some point or at times in their lives, they committed sin just like we're doing today. Sin is a transgression of the law. First John 3 and 4. And the transgression of the law is break. To, 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 to transgress the law meaning to break it. This is the song of the three. This is the song of the three holy children. Verse 14. For we, O Lord, are become less than any nation and be kept under this day in all the world because of our sins. Sin is the breaking of God's law. And when you sin, you got to pay a penalty. Right now, you so-called blacks and Hispanics is paying one of the biggest penalties. No, you guys are paying the biggest penalty out of all people. Nobody has suffered in captivity and for as long as we have as a people. We're going to show you right here who is given the law. In order to break the law, you commit sin. So we're going to see if everybody uh, initially were sinners. It's in Psalms 147, verse 19. He showeth his word unto Jacob, his statutes and his judgments unto Israel. He have not dealt so with any nation, and as for his judgment, they have not known them. They have not known him. These other nations don't know the judgments and, and statutes of, of the Heavenly Father, who you call God. He didn't give his law to everybody. He only gave his law to the children of Israel. And when the children of Israel broke his law, which is a transgression, that's when they became in sin. And because of sin, curses came upon us. And one of the curses that came upon us was that we were going to forget who we were. He took your identity from you. There's no such thing of a race of black. Black is a color. My tires on my car is black. And from following the sheep to be prince over my people as well. I have been with you wherever you have gone and have destroyed all the enemies in your path. I will make you a great name among the great ones of the earth. I will assign a place for my people in Israel. There I will plant them, and they shall dwell in their own land. 